I'm Steven Tedesco. This is my uh, lovely wife, Patty, over here. I'm a chef in Manhattan, and today I'm putting out some dishes for you guys to do at home. Classic Italian dishes from some famous restaurants around the city. These two dishes today are from Carmine from the Upper West Side. And today we're here at my friend Mike Batanza's place, which is uh, the Divine Bar in Midtown Manhattan. We're doing a chicken scappatiello and we're doing a linguine and white clam sauce. Obviously chicken scappatiello is gonna be chicken on the bone. It's done in like a white wine, lemon butter, herb sauce. Fresh parsley, fresh basil. This is mostly for the, uh, the pasta dish. We're chopping up some fresh parsley. I always use Italian parsley for these dishes. We're just gonna give this like a rough cut. Oregano, we got fresh parsley, we got fresh rosemary. Again, we're prepping for two dishes here. Basil, I like to just get the nice leaves, of course. We don't want to use any of the stems. And these two ingredients are for the pasta dish later on. I'm gonna chop fresh rosemary, fresh oregano. This is for the scapoliello. We have a little salt in the water, and that'll be for the pasta. We have a large saute pan here for the chicken. This chicken is done partially in the oven. We'll be finishing it in the frying pan. Earlier, cut up a whole chicken into eight pieces, and we did a simple marinade on this, and I like to use the same herbs in the marinade that we're gonna be using in the sauce later on today. We're gonna render off the fat, so when we fry it, we don't get a lot of splashing. The uh, marinade for here today is a simple marinade of olive oil, fresh garlic, lemon juice, salt, pepper, fresh rosemary, oregano, and a little bit of sage. So we're going into our oven here for four minutes. Ideally, you could cook the white meat and the dark meat separate. Today, we're just gonna rock and roll it like this. This dish is cooked on high heat from, from start to finish. But the olive oil tends to burn. It cannot maintain a high heat. So we're gonna go today with a nice corn oil. And you could be liberal with this oil because you're gonna fry this chicken for about 15 to maybe 20 minutes. Now we have here cherry stone clams. They're a little larger than their normal little necks. These clams have so much juice and so much meat. These are the preferred clams for this dish. If you find it hard to open the clam, go through the back, just a little wiggle, and then you can slide through. Look at all the juice that's coming out of these clams. This is what's gonna make that dish. Now, if you just use fresh clam juice for the whole dish, you would find at the end result that that dish would be just too salty to eat. Shallots, fresh garlic, and I cheated and I also roasted off some garlic earlier today. And as you can see, all the fat, when I said rendered before, look at all the fat that's come off this chicken. You know your oil is hot when your pan is smoking like that. So we're gonna go into the pan with the chicken. We are gonna go to a really, really golden brown. The uh, linguine white clam we're gonna start today. This consists of fresh garlic, olive oil, fresh basil and parsley, and two types of clam juice. This is a very, very simple dish with incredible flavor. Right, we're gonna go to the fresh garlic, and I'm just doing a thinly sliced garlic. I have some fresh olive oil here. So we're gonna bring our pan over here, and we're gonna slide it in. Again, both dishes, we're gonna cook these dishes at high heat all the way through. So we're going for a little golden brown on the garlic. Once the garlic is golden brown, then we're gonna hit it in with our basil and our parsley. Once these herbs hit this oil, they're all opening up. Every, all the flavors of these herbs are coming out now. It's like fusing them. And here we go, that's the fresh basil. We're just opening up the seasonings, all the flavors of those herbs are coming out and we're going in with our clam juice. I like to strain this so you don't have any pieces of shell. This is the fresh clam juice from the cherry stones. One jar of the store-bought clam juice. Now, this dish is done. No salt, no pepper. As this dish reduces, there's where the flavors are gonna come in. Now, we are done. This chicken is almost finished. We're gonna remove all this from this pan. Set aside. We're gonna go with the shallots. And we're just gonna do a chopped shallots. A little bit of whole butter. So we're going right in this hot pan with the butter. 
in go the shallots. Just be a little careful when you throw the white wine in. This is a very hot pan, so as you see the flame flaming up like that, putting about a quarter cup, and you're gonna go on a reduction now. The wine pulls all the flavors out of these pans. We're gonna go with our pasta already. Here we go. We're gonna go with one pound of linguine. And make sure you loosen up your noodles. And those noodles cook for about, I would say, eight minutes tops. You always want an al dente. All right, see as that wine's going down, that flavor of that wine, all the alcohol's gone already. We have some fresh chicken broth that I've uh, made from chicken stock earlier today, roasting off bones and vegetables. And I'm adding about another, maybe a half a cup of that. Fresh rosemary and fresh oregano. We're gonna cut two lemons, and we're gonna squeeze these right in. And the lemon juice should always go in after the wine and chicken stock. This pasta is very close. In the old days, my grandmother would take these noodles and throw them on the wall. But if it stuck to the wall, they were done. So these are the chopped clams from earlier today. We chopped them and put them all together. And those are going in. You're gonna cook those clams literally 30 seconds. So here we go. We're gonna bring the pasta into the sauce now. And here's the linguine white clam. Tell me this doesn't look great. Linguine and white clam. Voila. The butter actually brings the sauce together. Now we're gonna go put the chicken back into the pan. We're gonna move it all back together, toss it up a little bit. Now we're just gonna plate it up. Here we go, we're gonna place it out nice on the plate. A little parsley in there for garnish. Finish it off with a little fresh parsley, oregano, rosemary, a little bit of garnish. There you go, chicken scapriella. These dishes are served at some of the finest restaurants in Manhattan. The portion size I served you today serves you four to six people. You guys should have no problem with this whatsoever.